Okay, guys, I'm going to I'm going to call this meeting to order. It's a meeting for the executive committee, which is a subcommittee which was created um, about two or three weeks ago. Um, the purpose for tonight is for the executive committee to um, talk out the direction that maybe we think the zoning should go in. Remember, we cannot mandate anything. Nothing that happens tonight will be voted on. Uh, nothing tonight is legal or binding. It's just to have a general discussion about where zoning is going. Hopefully resolve some um, partisan differences that seem to be uh, apparent and get everybody on the same page, working in the same direction. <clears throat> Does anybody have any general comments about the meeting? This is a committee. Yes. Hmm? This is a executive committee, not a subcommittee. Uh, committee, but not subcommittee because we have a commission. Thank you very much. Committee. Uh, thank you very much. All of these all have got them. Um, all right, so my, my first comment is, is, is grants. Uh, grants are a big item. And, and again, a lot of this is to discuss so that we can do kind of do. I, I look at this as a workshop so we can discuss where everybody thinks we should be going and be able to implement it and, and hopefully vote on it in, in, in the actual meeting. Um, this is kind of like doing, doing the, the elbow grease work. So, you know, for grants, there's been a kind of a difference in, in opinion as to what we should be doing about grants, what John should be working on, our, John, our CME uh, planner, what he should be working on, who should be directing him, um, what other agencies he should be working with, and, and um, the TOD grant, I'll bring up as an example. So what happened in the TOD grant, uh, transit-oriented development, was we instructed him to work with the selectman's office on that grant. Um, I think there might be a difference of opinion as to when we instruct somebody to work on a grant with somebody, what happens to our, our say in the matter? Does it simply go to the selectman? Um, and, that, and that's it? It works with them? Or are we also directing them through the process? I want to get just get some feedback about what it really thinks about that. The grants well, process has been adapted, but the commission has voted on the direction of the grant based on the town plan and the direction of the town plan. So in this case, <laughs> what, what, what was the direction that we gave John to, to, to go? We didn't give him any direction. He came back with the direction for us because we asked him. Right. And he selected men and we had advised for something different that went a little bit beyond that what the town plan had called for, which is okay. slightly concerning because of the opportunity for the grant dwindles when you go outside the scope. Sure. So in, in that case, what had happened, and um, the grant that he wanted to write was for something that we already have. We have in multiple cases. Uh, this is backed up by the former first selectman. This is backed up by the current first selectman. And this is backed up by some of the plans that I've actually started pulling together. In the meantime, I've noticed that very much like when I was the chair of the Munis Municipal Building Committee, we noticed that there were kind of plans for buildings all over the place and no central location. So a lot of times different agencies didn't even know that the plan already exists. We don't have to. Phase one's already been done. We, we might be able to use phase one. Um, so I, I think it'd be prudent to try to get all our plans in one place. Um, but back to the, back to the question is: once we instruct that grant to go there, I don't know that we necessarily have the ability to pull it back from the selectmen's. Um, discretion. I, I don't know 
I mean, and that's kind of moving forward. I, I think there's certainly things that we're going to want to go, grants we're going to want to go after, but how, how do you pull it back from, from that? Well, yeah, I mean, we vote on whether or not the consult planner works on it. We pay the consult planner's bill. Ultimately, if the board of selectmen does, does not want the opportunity that we're presenting, so be it. We wait until there's another opportunity because we're wasting his time. Um, we're wasting the town's money, in essence, by having him apply for a grant that gives us less opportunity than the original proposal that he gave. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, you have to rely on the professionals. None of us are professionals here. We're hired one to speak for us. So, you know, I feel so. But, but I mean, back to my point is the professional didn't even know that we already have study, the study he wanted. I, I disagree with that, though. The, the studies we have are very different types of studies. What we don't have is a downtown master plan type study to deal with some of the parking. We have a Route 1 study, which is very bare bones, minimal, minimal, really dealing with some of the transportation issues in town. It didn't didn't branch out further from the downtown. It looked at Route 1, strictly Route 1. Downtown revitalization plan, we really a beautification plan. And that's not it either. So we have all these different plans. And building on that, we could have had a really cohesive downtown plan. I think Alan could probably speak to some of the things that we look for the um, River Cloud's working on right now, which are much more cohesive, similar to what Old Saybrook has. I don't know if you've seen their plan, which is tremendous. And it's shovel ready, it gives many opportunities for other grants to layer on top in terms of implementation as well. And I think we're really missing out because we don't have somebody, we don't have feet on the ground in Clinton doing the planning that needs to be done. That type of master planning to have us apply for grants that are, that are going to be able to be shovel ready, which I know Bruce is very interesting. But is the town planner in Old Saybrook, is, is that the person who coordinates all of the uh, grant uh, mm -hmm. writing? Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about the master plan that they have for this called Mariner's Way. If you look at it, it's pretty comprehensive. It was, so, it was a <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm a little, uh, so let, let's take a step back, if I may speak something. I, mean, I think we'll, I'm looking at the agenda. We're talking about functions of executive commission or uh, committee. Uh, I just want to stick to the agenda. And then okay. we're talking about functioning of the commission. And grant is one piece of it. It is, and that, what my intention was to go over a couple of the pieces. Yeah, so the CME's role, basic operations are on level. That we can discuss as we get there. But, well, if you want to stay in touch, you're absolutely right. So you want to let's let's go up, let's go back to line. let's let's go back to rule. So my role, right? So we have four members of the executive committee. My role is. To generally mostly spelled out for me in Robert's Rules, Town Charter, and most importantly, our bylaws. Um, I see my role as being the point man. No individual, including the chairman, is his own. It's not Jerry's rule, Mike's rule, Christine's rule. It's the, the, the commission, commission's rule. But there are certain things that the chairman generally um, has number one out of respect, number one, number two out of ethics. So, for instance, if any of you receive an email or correspondence from some, somebody, generally uh, it would, at a minimum, be sent to land use because the minute you get that email, it's a public document. Email regarding any any business that has to do with planning zone. Any any open application or no any any business. I, I don't understand the basic uh, basis of that rule because you get communications from all kinds of people who have a complaint, a problem, uh, and you know some of them are totally frivolous, some are realistic, which are brought to the staff or the board at some point. But they don't relate to any applications right. pending. And I asked the lawyer about that. And he said it didn't matter whether, it, if somebody F, does the free FOIs, anybody, any 
business with planning and zoning is subject to the FOI, which means any document, and this isn't me, okay, this isn't Gary, the chairman, making this up. Any document becomes a public document. Vice versa, if anybody on this board, including myself, sends a document to anybody, that is a public document. It doesn't matter if there's an application. I guess the other thing to put on top of that is you don't know if it's going to become an application. You could be speaking to somebody. Well, how do you know? Well, that's what I'm saying. So that's how that's we look at things. That's not the decision. The decision has traditionally been interpreted, and I would like to see the legal opinion because what? the decision rule has traditionally been opinion been that it relates to items that are calendar and items, you know, items that have been calendar before we've accepted an application. Well, I mean, would you like our lawyer to write? Yeah, I'd I like mean, it clarified, period. Yeah, well, there, are, there are plenty of voting matters that are academic. There are people who take courses in planning and zoning and communicate with academic partners. There are planning and zoning as found in other states and in other countries. Uh, and uh, it sounds to me like your rule requires copies. It's not my rule. So if I am taking a class in uh, your know, university course in um, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling very well. If I'm taking a university class in planning, you wish to see copies of all of my assignments, all of my documents, all of my business. No, because none of that has to do with the commission. I'm asking, you said planning and zoning. You're talking about planning and zoning matters in the town of Clinton, Connecticut, USA. Of course. Is that correct? All right. Not planning and zoning matters. Not in the world. Just by the time. What if it's a theory that has bearing? You can't separate. You know, that's a judgment. Yes, it's a judgment call. So when in doubt? Listen, when I was on the board, when, not only did we have our our uh, attorney come in and talk about a lot of this stuff, yes, but, but when I was on the board of Ed, they had an attorney come in and said the same thing. When I went to, we had a town meeting, they actually brought in lawyers, I forget. It was a joint commission meeting, they brought in lawyers. It was the I think, I think a couple members of this audience were there, the FOI. It was the same thing. Listen. Let's say you want to send an email. You don't have to send it to me. I just, it should be copied. 